I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? Hey, this is Matt once again. What about to another review? And there's another paid request, this time from Wes. Thank you so much for that. If anyone is interested in requesting any other type of reviews or topics, reactions, lists, anything random, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Now, this is for Truck Turner, which is a black exploitation film from 1974. And this was a lot of fun. This was really enjoyable. I recommend to anyone who's into films like Shaft or the Pam Greer, Foxy Brown. This was really entertaining. Isaac Hayes, who is a mus was a musician, may he rest in peace. Uh, actually, I liked him as an actor. I liked him as Steve from New York as the Duke, a number one. He's the lead here. He's a, playing a character who's a former professional football player. Now he's an L.A. bounty hunter. And he's really good. Like, this movie has a great sense of humor to it. It's very fun. Funny enough, it's from the director who would go on to do Project X with Matthew Broderick. With the, the chimpanzees. And Unlawful Entry. <laughs> very, three very different films. And the cast, Yafikoto is our main villain. He doesn't really pop up till halfway through the film, but it's nice to have Yafik Koto in there from Alien, the running man. Michelle Nichols, a horror, a horror in, well, she's a horror in this movie, a horror in Star Trek. She's here as one of the villains who runs a prostitute squad. And if you grew up with her in Star Trek, Man, you're in for a waiting when you watch this. This is a very different role. It was, it was it was entertaining to see her play this kind of role. Anyone who kills them gets my broads. Cause she's offering her hookers to the man who kills Drut Turner. And she's saying lines like, They better learn to sell pussy in Iceland because if I find them, I'm going to cut their fucking throats. I'm like, oh horror, holy shit. Don't mess with her in Star Trek. Deep down, she'll cut your fucking throat. And from the... I mean, it's a very entertaining film. Isaac Hayes, he wakes up. He has a cat who's his, uh, his lady's cat. His lady's in prison, about ready to get out. He's like, you pissed on my shirt, you fuck-ass son of a bitch. And gets pissed at the cat. He's with his buddy named Jerry, who works with them. And... I, Again, the, the dialogue is fun. Where he's like, slow down. And Isaac Hayes goes, stop bitching. You don't kill us. 
Oh, you won't feel a thing. You're in the death seat. <laughs> he go like the also in the beginning. He goes to get this bounty, and it's in like a military base. So they go through, and the the guy, the military guy, guy is asking him if he's ever been in combat. He says, "No, man. I'm a. I'm not going to say the word. It rhymes with maggot." But there's an F in front of it. So he's like, no man, I'm a maggot. But he didn't say maggot. It was so out of the blue that it made me laugh. I know that's not PC. But the way she delivered was pretty fucking funny. And he gets the bounty. The guy's being a racist. He's like, well, if I wasn't in these handcuffs... So he lets him out of his handcuffs and beats the shelf. <laughs> I'm like, this Isaac Hayes, this character, Druck Turner, he's a badass in this movie. It's fun, has a sense of humor. When he pits up his girl, better bring me some flowers. I brought some beer. <laughs> uh, Dip Miller has an appearance in this. May he rest in peace as a guy who gets him the next job. Oh, or before that, his buddy and their boss are giving him shit because his wife was in, his lady was in prison for stealing stuff. And what do you want me to do, cut her loose? No, nobody's asking for you to cut her loose. Just maybe cut off her hands. Why are you all free this shit and get off my case? <laughs> so that's what I mean. It, has a, it goes by a fast pace. It's 90 minutes long. I'd actually be curious if there's a Blu-ray with features on this. Probably not, because you know, Isaac Hayes has passed away. I would love to have heard his thoughts on this movie, about the making of. There's action, there's a car chase, at least a foot chase. When the bad guy's running, he goes to a bar and hires people in the bar to beat him up. So Isaac Hayes comes in, they're beating Isaac Hayes up, and then he beats the fuck out of all of them. Pretty decent bar fight. At one point... They're chasing someone, and this crazy bear titty white bitch just stabs his buddy in the back. Doesn't kill him. But it was just so out of the blue, it, it, it kind of made me laugh, where they kill someone, then all of a sudden this white lady titties out. Slow motion. Ah, ah. And Isaac Hayes, like, Pfft. and then says, bitch. <laughs> I, I, that's... That's why I love watching movies like this. They're so un-PC. Because they're movies. They're, they're not meant to offend people. They're meant to just be fun. And just... <laughs> you can't take shit like this that seriously. Like, someone has a funeral and the other bad guys are there. And one of them has, like, this eye patch that has diamonds or glitter. And Yafikoto, he makes a, an appearance... He looks at the corpse for the funeral. He fucking spits at it. I'm like, okay, that's a way to, to make a, a first impression as your one of your villains. And yeah, there are moments that did make me like, what? Uh, spoiler alert. I'll say right here. If Alien I've said makes you interested, go watch the film. It's a lot of fun. This is like a... It's entertaining, sometimes unintentionally so, but I think a lot of times it is for sincerity. And colorful, well, the colorful cast, but performances that just everyone is, no one is sleepwalking. No one is sleepwalking through this. Michelle Nichols has a very different role from Ohura, and, or I keep saying Ohura, Ohura and Star Trek 180. Isaac Hayes, I think he proves himself well as the lead. I mean, he has the right stature, the right voice for it as well. He has some fun dialogue, gets some fisticuffs, has a big cannon that he shoots people with, including some assassins. Spoiler alert, there's a moment where him and his lady come home and the fucking cat has been hung. I didn't expect that. But 
I almost laughed, not because of the scene, because I love cats. I love pussy, and I love cats. So, it was... That reminded me of Adventures of Ford Fairlane, when he came in and he found the koala bear hun. So, that's what it... It made me laugh, because it reminded me of that. Not because of the scene, because, oh, you know... That sucks that they killed the cat. I don't like that. But he does get a new cat. But it's just like, oh, that sucks. But again, it just reminded me of the koala bear scene in the adventures of Ford Fairlane. So, I... And, okay, I mentioned, like, dialogue. I mentioned some. One is, Isaac Hayes gets to a certain location. He's like, you know what? There's a pimp. There's a pail full of followers. And yet, I'm the one getting fucked. This ain't my year. <laughs> uh, you get a shit out of the hospital. Like I said, this pretty much gets what you want out of it. You get a badass hero who's likable, a fun persona, f entertaining dialogue, uh, very villains with personalities, especially Nichelle Nichols. She's excellent in this. The Efficoto. Like I said, it's sad that he pops in like halfway through. Like literally at like the 40, 45 minute mark is when he appears. She's like, like yeah, Efficoto. So I would like to see more of him in it. Spoiler alert, there is a bad mannequin shot where his buddy. It's supposed to be him at this meeting, but he sends his buddy and the bad guy shoot the door. Well, the buddy's supposed to fly off because he's been shot, but the wide shot, it's, it's a mannequin. Imagine a mannequin being pulled at 50 miles per hour from the door. It, it looks <laughs> laughable, so I laughed. You're not supposed to. It's just supposed to be, oh my god, it's horrific because his buddy got killed in a horrific manner. But because it's a mannequin, they just, they just pulled. And it's so quick, faster than the fucking Flash. It's... <laughs> That's what, so there are a lot of intentional fun moments, but there's also unintentional moments like the the, the titty lady coming out of nowhere with a knife or the, the mannequin shot that flies f fucking 15 feet away. It, it's a bad shot. I mean, I don't know why they had that. Like, you could have just had someone fly back, stuntman. You could just have done that, so I don't know why they, they decided to do this. <laughs> But it did create an unintentionally funny moment. And things work out. It's not one of those films that has an out of the blue, where the fuck did that come from ending. It ends like it should. And it's just, I, I got a kick out of this movie. This is easily one of my favorite Blastportation films now. I loved this movie. Uh, this was a lot of fun. If my friend Efri or others... I don't, know if, who, I don't know who all has seen this, but if you haven't, check this movie out. I think you'll get a, uh, have a lot of fun with this. So, definitely a big a thumbs up for this movie. So, with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. And you tell them you had a truck run over you. Matt Truck Turner. Later. <laughs>